everyone, this is Xset and this is the final part of my collection video. Actually, I thought I already had finalized my collection videos until someone at uh, SealedGameHeaven.com asked me why I didn't have any Nintendo 64 games. Um, even though Nintendo 64 is probably one of my least favorite consoles, I of course have the good games for it. So that's when I noticed I forgot a part. So, today I'm going to show you the Nintendo 64 and some sealed games I have. Over here I start with a Turtles uh, toy set. Pick this up at a flea market. It's 100% mint. Even the, the components are still sealed in the box. So for one euro I'm not going to pass on that. Then Nintendo 64. GoldenEye, Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. Diddy Kong Racing. As you can see, I have sleeves on these as well. These are the same dimension as uh, as the NES, uh, no, Super Nintendo sleeves. Donkey Kong 64, Kirby, Mario Kart, Mario Party. Tennis, um, the next one is Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Paper Mario and Perfect Dark. Mario 64, Smash Brothers, Joshi Story. Um, that's Pokemon Stadium 2, Stadium 1 and Resident Evil 2. In between you yeah, have this one of those commemorative uh, Wii coins. So as you can see Nintendo 64 is not huge but I've covered the the good titles as far as I as I know. I also have the two Zelda games um, I showed you them before I think and of course I have Congress Bad Fur Day which is by far my favorite Nintendo 64 game. Then over there you can see one of those uh, Game Boy advertisements uh, that's the Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. Special Edition and some statues. Then over here we have the Mario uh, Anniversary set, Tactics Ogre and Eternal Sonata. Everything you see now is sealed by the way. Soul Nomad and the World Eaters, the English version. That's one of the rarest RPGs on the PS2 as far as I know. And there's Ocean Commander which is also incredibly hard to find. I've only seen one set of these on eBay and they were sold out really quickly. I actually regret not buying more than one. Then both Artonalikos or Artonaliko, however you say that. And some uh, 505 Game Street sealed games. Final Fantasy, Guitar Man. Guitar Man, which I actually like more on the PSP. Mega Man's Persona. I'm not a big Persona fan, never really got into it. All the social stuff is a bit, bit too much for me. And all my sealed games, as you may have noticed, I'll show you one. I have uh, special protectors for these. Actually, really cheap, they're used for, uh, made for DVDs. Um, so they're an extra protection around the seal so that uh, when you put them in the cabinet or whatever that you don't rip the seal because well if you collect seals you want to keep them nice and mint and it would be a waste to ruin a good seal game over here is the last ones I got in Gradius 5 and Hanuman Boy Warrior that's one of those India only PS2 games then some PS1 seals and some other stuff this is the uh, toy that came with the soccer kit the PS1 game that I touched talked to you about before Alucard from Castlevania and some Pokemon and the Crash Bandicoot over there then this is the NES PlayStation 1 I've showed you this before and over here we have NTSC PlayStation 1, which I actually forgot as well to show you, I think. Not sure, so I'm going to do this quick. It's all RPGs. And below here I have a lot of um, game guides and uh, other game related books. For instance, uh, pretty much every Metal Gear guide, every Final Fantasy guide, a lot of Nintendo Power, or a lot, some Nintendo Power, and then some books, Street Fighter book, 8-bit uh, art book, 
totally tubular, really cool book about all the toys from the 80s. Then something I bought recently, the Game of Thrones or Song of Fire and Ice book set. And over here I have some more sealed games, but these are all for sale because I started to, I decided to stop collecting uh, sealed PlayStation 1 games. So if you are interested in those, feel free to contact me. Mega Man X5, um, Gekio Shooting King, etc. Some pretty rare stuff. So I think I've showed you pretty much everything now. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to ca to leave a comment uh, on anything. Uh, feel free to share your video with me. I'm always uh, willing to see other people's collections. It's always nice to see what other people have. And um, again, feel free to join the forum and join the community. Goodbye.